Nathan, I live with my family in a big forest in Canada, close to a river. The landscape is spectacular here, and it's sometimes difficult to find your way back home. This instrument here is a compass. It helps you find your way. Can you help me finish making it by putting the pieces in the right place? Over to you! This direction is north. This is south. Great! You found west! This one is east. Well done! You have found the four compass points. I use these four directions to find my way. North, south, east, west. I'll explain how my compass works in the next game. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! Touch the screen to continue playing. I'm going to teach you how to use a compass. Man uses a point called the North Pole to get his bearings. Wherever you are, the North Pole is always in the same direction. Pretty useful if you need to find your way, don't you think? It's your turn. Get up and turn around slowly. Find the North Pole by lining up the end of the compass with the red arrow. Well done! You are facing north. Now, north on your compass is in line with north on your map. Now try to find south by lining up the letter S with the arrow. Yes, that's it! The compass is pointing south. This is where the sun reaches its highest position in the sky, its zenith. If you keep turning around, you'll find east by lining up the letter E with the arrow. Well done! The bearing is now east. This is where the sun rises. Now try to find west by lining up the W with the red arrow. Well done! The bearing is now west. This is where the sun sets at night. You found all four compass points. These points are important if you want to understand how the sun moves in the sky, which is what you're about to find out in the next game. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll get a surprise. Well done! You've won a sun! Touch the screen to continue playing.
My brother is at home, but I felt like going for a walk in the glade. We are standing by my favorite tree. <laughs> I'm hungry. I might take a bite out of it later. But in the meantime, let's play with the sun and the shadows. Put the sun or the shadow where they are in the morning. Perfect! <laughs> the sun rises in the east. Move the sun or the shadow towards noon. <laughs> and its shadow is very small. Put the sun or its shadow where they are in the evening. Well done! You now know how these two things move together. You can even see this happen in your everyday life. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! Touch the screen to continue playing. You've seen the shadow. Did you know that shadows exist because the light of the sun can't get through the trees? The lack of light creates a dark spot on the ground. Let's see how the shape changes. The sun is in the west. It's almost night time. Touch one of the shadows. The sun is in the west. It's almost night time. Touch one of the shadows. <laughs> yes, that's correct. The sun is rising. Which is the right shadow out of these three options? Correct! <laughs> Did you see how long it is? It's the middle of the morning. Which shadow matches the position of the sun? The sun is now at its zenith. Do you know which shadow matches? Yes, sometimes shadows become very small. The sun is in the east when you set off for school. Where do you think the shadow of the tree is? The sun is in the east when you set off for school. Where do you think the shadow of the tree is? Well done! You got all of the answers right! Now you know that shadows do not always face the same way and are not always the same size. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll get a surprise. Well done! You've won a sun! Touch the screen to continue playing.
Now you understand how the sun moves in the sky and how shadows are created and move during the day. In the past, man used the position of the shadows on the ground to tell the time. Let's go and learn about sundials. Move the shadow or the sun to 15. Move the shadow or the sun to nine. <laughs> Move the shadow or the sun to eighteen. Move the shadow or the sun to six. Move the shadow or the sun to seventeen. Now you know how man used to tell the time during the day. But what did they do at night? Well, to understand this, we have to go into space. Hey, here's a rocket. My dad will show you what's happening up there. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done! You've won a Cloudberry Seed. Touch the screen to continue playing. Flying through space is fun. The blue ball that you can see is planet Earth. That's where we live. Over there is the sun. The sun is a star, a ball of molten gas that illuminates and warms the Earth. Mummy Beaver and the children have stayed on Earth. Let's see what they're doing at each hour of the day. Look, the Earth is spinning. My family is going from the dark into the light. Your turn. Make the Earth spin. Move my family around until they reach the red numbers. Soon they won't be able to see the sun from where they are. They'll say the sun is setting. Move Mummy Beaver and the children to the blue numbers. It's midnight. My family is asleep. Try to wake them up. Move them around to the green numbers. Look, they've just woken up. They can only see half of the sun. It's dawn. A new day is dawning. Put my family on the yellow numbers. The sun is high in the sky. It's noon. It's the middle of the day. Now you know that the sun doesn't really set anywhere. It's just that the forest where I live no longer receives the rays of the sun because the earth is spinning. Now, let's see how to divide the hours between day and night. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! Touch the screen to continue playing. You have seen that the Earth is spinning. When it rotates fully, one day has gone by. This time period is divided into 24 parts. We call them hours. Let's play a game to understand this better. Put the sun on 14. Put the sun on 1. Put the sun on 18. Put the sun on 5. Put the sun on 22. Put the sun on 23. 
Put the sun on 12. Well done. That was brilliant. You are really starting to understand the hours of the day. It's time to play with a clock. Before we move on, I'd like to show you something. First, let me cut this circle in two. Between noon and midnight. There are now two parts, you see? The numbers from 0 to 11 are on one side before noon, and those from 12 to 23 are on the other side, the afternoon. Now, the two parts have changed into circles. The circle before noon is called AM. The one afternoon is called PM. If you look closely, the two circles are identical. They each have 12 hours. So, when it's one hour afternoon, we say it's 1 p.m. Let's bring the two circles together and see what happens. They're identical. They both have 12 hours. The circles together form a clock with 24 hours. It's simple. When the hands of the clock do a full circuit, it goes from before noon to afternoon, and vice versa. When the clock strikes five, it means that it's five o'clock in the morning if you're in bed, or it's five o'clock in the afternoon if you've been up for a while. Well done. That was brilliant. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll get a surprise. Well done. You've won a sun. Touch the screen to continue playing. Now that you know why there are only 12 numbers on the clock, help me put it together. Put the numbers where they belong. You still have some numbers to place. Now move both hands of the clock. You'll need a screw to hold them into place. Well done! You've built a cuckoo clock. Let's play with it and soon you'll be able to tell the time on any kind of clock or watch. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done! You've won a cranberry seed. Touch the screen to continue playing. Now it's time to learn how this clock works. The small red hand shows the hour. Set the hour to 3 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 11 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 7 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 5 o'clock p.m. Set the hour to 9 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to noon. Well done! We're ready to play with the big hand. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! Touch the screen to... There are always two hands on a clock. The small one sews the hour, and the big one sews the minutes. Using the two hands, big and small, try to set the clock to the right time. Set the hour to 1. 
45 p.m. Set the hour to 1, 15 a.m. Set the hour to midnight. Set the hour to midnight, 15. Set the hour to 5.45 a.m. Set the hour to 8.30 p.m. Well done! You're doing really well with the big hand. Now we can move on to something a bit more difficult. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll get a surprise. Well done. You've won a sun. Touch the screen to continue playing. In order to give an exact time, your ancestors divided the hour into minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. The two hands of a clock are linked. They move together. The big hand shows the minutes. Every time it goes right around the dial, the small hand, which shows the hour, moves on to the next number. Here's a challenge for you. Set the clock to the time I say. Set the hour to 11.32 a.m. Set the hour to 5.06 a.m. Set the hour to 6.42 a.m. Set the hour to midnight. Set the hour to 8.58 p.m. Set the hour to 12.51 p.m. Wait! You're getting really good at telling the time. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done! You put a loop in seed. Touch the screen to continue playing. I have one last thing to tell you. We use specific phrases to tell the time. Come on, I'll explain. The clock here is divided into four parts. When the clock shows 3 hours 15 minutes, we say it's a quarter past 3, because the first quarter of the hour has passed. The clock now shows 3 hours 30 minutes. We say it's half past 3, because half of the hour has passed. When it's 3 hours 45 minutes, we say it's a quarter to 4, because there's only one quarter of an hour left until 4 o'clock. Look, there are four clocks in front of you. I'll say a time, and you touch the right clock. Choose quarter past four a.m. Choose half past one a.m. Choose quarter past one a.m. Choose quarter past 2 a.m. Choose half past 3 a.m. 
twos. Quarter to two a.m. Great! Now you can have fun telling the time using the right words. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water. Touch the screen to continue playing. I have another mission for you. Let's try to tell the time without the digital clock face. Point to the clock face that matches the time I say. Let's go. Two's one thirty p.m. Two's eight twenty-seven a.m. Two's nine fifteen a.m. Two's twelve twenty eight p.m. Two's eight twenty nine a.m. Two's four seventeen p.m. Well done! You've got all the right answers. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done! You won a blueberry seed. Touch the screen to continue playing. It's time for the clock challenge. To win points, press the big red button when the hands show the same hour as the digital dial. Children all over the world are trying to beat the record. It's your turn now. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> all about telling the time now. Here's your score. Play again and try to beat your record for more chances of winning a prize. Click on the house to return to the menu. <laughs> 